Luckily, the mechanic did not find any big problems to solve. $322 later. Something really unique and cool about this bus, once I get this heater out, which the mechanic has kindly disconnected for me, it runs all the way down under the bus to the engine, actually, is that the floor is actually completely flat. There is no wheel well. I've kind of been neglecting filming this. All right, I've researched, I've Googled, I've watched YouTube videos, I just need to try. And get these rivets out of the wall. Mm -hmm. There goes absolutely nothing. They have to snap. It's like a shot. Anyway, slow progress today. But at least I'm making progress. My camera's about to go again. The drill bit just snapped right in half. They're all titanium, but. I kind of saw that potentially happen. I just got my first rivet off, and I'm so f***ing proud of myself. There it is. Check this out. In case you're not sure what a rivet is, this goes on there. These ones, I think, are going to come off easier than these ones. Unfortunately, these ones are looking extra thick. This is the one I've gotten closest to. Clearly, it's not moving well. So I drilled into the middles. Now I'm just going to go around. Oh! This. If there is one thing that I'm learning from this, it's that I'm not a handyman, but I am a great problem solver. Alright, I'm actually kind of getting the hang of getting the rivets out. Right? Sort of. Coming along. I present to you, drill bit number three. Also, can we please take a moment to appreciate... Love it! I don't know if anybody actually cares about this, but I thought I'd explain why I'm doing this, because it's kind of DIY. Drilling a hole in the middle of the rivet, this chisel, you can see one side is flat and one side is not. The flat side opens the wall, and hammer down to lift it up, and then I flip around, and then I just hammer this side so that it has some width and just go go to town. Let's chisel up though. <laughs> Thank you.